Hi, I'm Anisha and this is Anisha's Corner. It's um, 11.30 p.m. at night and this is the perfect time for me to talk. Trust me, it's so calm and there's hardly anyone to disturb me. So today I'm going to talk about a very underrated book that is Anita Deshai's Fire on the Mountain and I bet most of you are unaware of this gem of a book. So this book is about Nanda Kaul. She is beyond all family relation and um, she is living the rest of her life in a secluded bungalow in Karinaru, Nihil area. And her peace is disturbed when she gets to know from her daughter that her great granddaughter is arriving at her place. And she also receives a call from one of her very old friends, Ila Dash. Uh, Ila Dash also happens to be at her place very soon. Nanda is disturbed, is disgusted, and she is legit afraid of people coming um, at her place. Like She is so uh, comfortable in this solitude that she does not want any inconvenience or innovation in her comfort. So she is obviously uh, very uh, disturbed. So this is how this the story goes. This is basically the summary of it. So this is obviously um, a classic uh, Indian literature, and it displays the various aspects of um, of human life and the ups and downs one goes through to to complete a cycle. The human capacity to uh, conceal the truth under shallow lies, the conceits one takes to keep the trauma hidden and the post-colonial dilemma can be seen throughout the um, entire piece. Themes of loneliness, unhealed suffocation and year-long insults make the tale a very relatable one. Ila's uh, grief and her despair contradict Nanda calls uh, self-centered and emotionless behavior. Yet the tragic events um, keep them glued together. Ila came like a gush of wind and brought up stories from the past that she clings to all the time to feel better, to take shelter under it. Now, I don't know if you have noticed this or not, but patriarchy has a very um, significant role in forcing women. The essence of patriarchy colors uh, women's desires and shapes them, molds them. Nanda Kaul happened to be indifferent to her children and her family. The wound that she has carried throughout her uh, married years has urged her to be cold, uh, strong, uh, distant and somewhat mean. Raka, uh, Nanda's great-granddaughter, witnesses abuse every day. Raka's mom, um, I mean, Raka's mother goes through uh, violence, goes through domestic violence, abuse every day. And this violation, this dominance, this patriarchal uh, oppression, um, makes uh, Raka want uh, to leave everything behind and start things in a white light where there will be no dependency, no turmoil, there will only be freedom of exploring, uh, isolation, solitude, privacy, secrecy and Iladash, that poor little human still holds her family name high above her head and despite her serious needs she could not communicate her intentions her pangs of desperation loneliness and her need for uh, comfort love care patriarchy and family trauma they somehow bind the three women in an invisible knot and place them face to face without them ever understanding. Fire on the Mountain 
is a fascinating portrayal of three very different women in um, various stages of life. Someone fabricating lies to herself and uh, to the world to maintain her peace and her sanity. Someone attempting to burn all the vanities, lies, conceits in order to cleanse the nature, to purify the soul. And someone too scared, too pure, too timid, yes, oppressed and destroyed by the ideas, the norms, the practices of uh, post-colonial patriarchal standards. The theme that I could relate to the most is the theme of patriarchy, theme of family trauma, how trauma shapes your life, how trauma creates a new identity, how patriarchy is the master and you are the puppet. I request you all to pick up this gem of a book and give it a read. This has um, hardly 150 pages and uh, you can finish it in just one sitting. The language is very easy and um, reading it is not going to be a hard task. Especially if you are Indian, I will request you to read this particular book because this will make you aware of some really serious um, troubling issues. So I think I have said enough. So take care. Um, keep reading.